All right, welcome uh, to another Postscriptum SDK tutorial. So today we're going to be working with custom and modified assets. Uh, this involves Blender and Unreal Engine 4 or the Postscriptum SDK. So some of the things you'll learn is how to correctly export an asset from the SDK, how to import the asset into Blender for modifications, and then of course how to export the asset out of Blender into the SDK correctly. Uh, especially with like skeletal meshes and anything involving bones. If you don't do this correctly, uh, you'll have some issues and errors in Unreal once you import them, and we want to avoid that. So, here we go. Okay, so now we're in Unreal here. Uh, more specifically, the Postscriptum SDK launched from Unreal. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for an asset to export and then import into Blender. So we're going to start with something with bones, so a skeletal mesh. So we're going to type in SK after clicking on the content folder here. Underscore. We'll just do US. And let's see what we have. So we can take any of these for this example. Let's just take uh, the medic here. Well, we could even pull it up, make sure it's exactly what we want. Take a look in the viewport. Okay, yep, that's the one we want. And also take a note of the materials just in case if you're adding patches or doing anything related to materials, you're going to want to find those in the content browser. The purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to show you how to export, uh, make a minor modification to maybe the mesh in Blender and then export it out. Okay, so that's the one we want. We're going to right click. We're going to find Asset Actions. And we're going to export that. Okay, so where are we going to export it? Just for this, uh, I'm going to do it to my desktop. So, right there. Okay, so it's going to pop up with a little screen. Um, all of these are okay. You shouldn't have to mess with anything here. Export there. Okay, and let's check our desktop here. Yes, looks like our 4th Infantry Medic has been uh, exported successfully. So now let's load up Blender. Okay, so right now we're in the default scene. We're just going to get rid of everything because it's very important once we export it. So um, I'm going to go to import FXB. Let's find it on the desktop here. And boom, there it is. So all of the these settings are good for the import. Okay, so it's going to look a little crazy here at first. That's okay because this is how the devs did their bones right here. When you're working on it, it's perfectly okay to hit H and hide that uh, while you're working on the model because you don't want to mess with the bones at all. But uh, let's take a look at the world viewer here for a second. And let's take a look at what's going on. So immediately I can tell that Blender has parented things that shouldn't be parented. So we're actually going to click on uh, the bones or the root. You can click on, on it in either the 3D viewer or the world viewer. We're going to hit Alt P and we're going to clear but keep transformation. So we're clearing the parents because Unreal is not going to like that once we import it. So now we can safely work on uh, this project here and modify whatever we want. Um, typically, what a lot of people are going to be doing is importing these in, uh, finding a new spot, uh, like taking this geometry here and maybe assigning a whole new material so they could put their units patch on. Um, one more thing, while we're in Blender, I do want to note is let's say you wanted to bring in multiple uh, FXBs in here to work on them at the same time. So Blender is going to do some weird stuff. So let's go import again. Let's just import the same thing. FXB. Desktop. All the way down. Okay. So, yeah. It renamed the root to root001. So, let's say I didn't want to work on the original one anymore, but I did want to export the second one uh, that I brought in. Now that the root name is changed, Unreal is not going to like that. So, before... I export my second one that I've been working on. I have to make sure that this is root. And then it obviously we'll change the other one to root uh, 001. 
just to make sure these FXBs do not get mixed up, I'm just uh, control Zing there, is make a new collection. And we're just going to grab all of this, put it in collection one, collapse. We're going to make a new collection. And that is where we're going to bring in the second FXB. So a lot of times when you're working on vehicles and stuff, you bring people in for scale. And that's when things can get really messy. There we go. So now we can just hide that collection, make sure the one we want to export has uh, the parent cleared, which it does now. Just to double check, we can hit Alt-P, clear. And make sure that root is named root. Maybe we should make a little modification to it just to show you the concept. So I'm going to go into here. Let's just get rid of this. So. All I did was uh, hovered my mouse over the geometry and hit L for linked. And it should grab, because this is actually a separate piece of geometry that they uh, basically put a different, uh, they put a different material on that so they can assign uh, the patch, actual patch image to it. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Boop, okay, minor, minor modification. And then we're going to go back out into object mode here. Grab everything. Uh, make sure you're not grabbing the other FXB, but everything in collection one is good. We're going to go to the export menu here, and we're going to export it as an F FXB. So this is the one you want to pay attention to. Obviously, you want to hit selected objects. Uh, you shouldn't have to mess with this too much. And more importantly, let's go to armature. You want to get rid of add leaf bones. That little guy will mess up a couple of things. And ultimately, when you're importing this back into Unreal, you should have zero errors. Okay? So I'm just going to add some more to this so we know it's different. Modded. Okay. Everything should be good there. Export FXB. So now we can get rid of Blender here, and I'll bring up Unreal. Okay, so we have back in Unreal. Let's find a folder to put this in. I'm just going to use one of my mod folders here. Do, do, do. We'll just bring it into here, and we can just drag and drop. And So there's the modded one. I'm going to drag and drop this. Now, this is very uh, important how you import it. Uh, you don't have to immediately assign a skeleton or a physics asset to it, but I do recommend it because it's simple and it's only going to be one thing. So we're going to type in, I believe it's uh, test. If it's just test, we'll try that one. We could actually check this. So make sure we use the same stuff. Uh, go to content. Okay, and I know we selected the medic, so we can double click this, take a look at the skeleton. Yep, and they're using the Test US Soldier Skeleton version 3, which I, I believe everything basically uses that. So we should be clear to do that again. Uh, let's get back out of here. Get back to OSS testing. Drag that in there. Okay. And I believe it's uh, physics one. Do, do, do. And uh, if I scroll down, there's a couple of things you want to take a look at. Make sure skeletal mesh is selected, import mesh is selected. Let's go down, down. Okay, import materials and textures off. Yeah, we don't want that because they're already in the game or in the SDK. So import. So, it loaded in with no errors, and that is exactly what we want. So, I'm going to import it quickly if we didn't do that, uh, all the steps we just did. And I'll, just, I'll show you the problems that it will create. Okay. So, let's go back to Blender for a second here. And let's, let's say we didn't even select the root, we just selected... Uh, the medic here. Export that. Mod. 
wanted one. Okay, now we're just going to leave selected objects on and we're going to say we forgot to uncheck mark leaf bones. Export FXB. I'll show you the headaches that it makes for you. Okay, so immediately it recognizes that it's not a skeletal mesh anymore or it, it you gotta do some funky things we'll try and force it and we'll see what happens okay um, say that I think by default this is selected so we'll reselect that as if you forgot and let's take a look uh, I think materials and textures those are all selected by default as well. So let's hit import and see what the hell happens. Okay, so this is a big issue. Uh, failed to merge bones. Um, this means that it can't find the root because we didn't... Either it couldn't find the root or it was named root 001, what have you. And this really confuses it uh, because it's very important that we keep the structure of the files. Um, as we bring them back in now if I hit yes to this it's gonna want to regenerate the skeleton therefore uh, <laughs> modifying all of the animation data which is a headache and you definitely don't want to do if you see this error or any error you did something wrong there's something wrong um, and you don't want any errors so I'm gonna hit cancel it says yes blah 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 now I'll show you a lot of times I see people get this issue you see all of these materials well because I forgot to deselect that uh, when I imported it it makes a material for everything now these are all already in the SDK so now I technically have two of them and uh, yeah it gets really really messy so you basically have to end up deleting these anyways so I'm gonna get rid of them now and so I'm just going to get rid of modded one. We're going to import the correct modded one. Make sure all our settings are good. So skeleton is test. Bloop. And we're going to not create a physics asset because we're going to be using the one already created. Bloop. Let's see here. Uh, make sure none of those materials are selected there. And then import. Yeah. So it should be all prepackaged. It should look basically, or it should look exactly the same as before you exported it. And look, the SDK even found all the materials. So now we can pull this guy in and make sure he doesn't have his little patch there, and he doesn't. So our modification was done correctly. So uh, yeah, that's all I want to show you on this tutorial. Um, hopefully this helps some of you guys with some of the headaches that... Uh, we get with the SDK. Have a good one.